Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, my name is Evelyn. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing how you can style your kitchen island a few different ways and I know not everyone has a kitchen island and in case you don't, you can also use these ideas for your peninsula or on your dining table, it would make a beautiful statement. So don't get discouraged, you can still use these ideas and I can't wait for you guys to see what I came up with. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So for the first look, I went outside and cut some branches. These were actually completely bare a few weeks ago, but since it's been raining so much in my area, some of the leaves have started to sprout, so I thought they would be perfect for an arrangement. I am putting them inside a glass vase that my mom actually gave me, and I know Walmart and Michaels has a similar one, so I'll have those linked down below. And I put some water in it, and the stems make such a statement, so definitely go outside and see what branches you can find. So right next to that, I am placing this cutting board from Hobby lobby and I picked up some bread from Costco and it reminded me so much of the bread that designers use to style kitchen so I am styling with it but it probably won't last and I also placed this kitchen towel that I got from Amazon and that completes this look. For this next look, I wanted to recreate this beautiful arrangement that an Instagram content creator made. Her Instagram username is Selena Maria Home, and I highly recommend checking out her page. I always get so much inspiration from her, but she used a floral gathering basket, so I'm using this one from at home. And I also picked up some baby's breath from Costco and just filled the basket with it. I made sure to have it sticking out from both sides like she did, and I added that same kitchen towel from Amazon to make it look a little bit more lived in, but. I I am just so in love with this look. It looks like I went outside and picked up some baby's breath from a garden with my basket. It just looks very organic and absolutely beautiful. Moving on to the next look, I am using this vintage vase that is from Etsy and I'm adding these stems that I got from Hobby Lobby. These kind of look like the faux version of the ones I cut outside so if you want that look then you should definitely pick these up. And right next to the vase I placed this other vintage vase from Etsy and that completes this look. So for this look, I am placing this vase that is from Home Goods, but I painted it brown and I'm adding these beautiful stems that are from Hobby Lobby. These have been my absolute favorite stems for spring. They are so pretty. And next to the vase, I'm placing these plates and bowls that are from Target, as well as this napkin that is also from Target.
for this next one, I am placing this vase that is also from Home Goods and adding the same stems we used earlier. I like to only add two to make it look a little bit more wispy. And next to the vase, I am placing this wooden riser from McGee Co. with a candle that was a gift and a candle snuffer from Amazon. Last but not least, this final look is actually a part of my spring decorate with me but it is my personal favorite and I wanted to include it in this video in case you missed it but I am using the same base from Home Goods and the Hobby Lobby stems and adding this beautiful bowl for Magnolia Home as well as the same Amazon kitchen towel that I have been using and I filled the bowl with these beautiful pears. I believe they are called the Bosque pears but I love how they give that aesthetic feel and I also placed some outside the bowl to make it seem like they fell out and I tilted them kind of like how I did with my pumpkins for fall and that completes the final look. That concludes today's video. I really hope you guys got some ideas on how you can style your kitchen island for spring or any other area in your kitchen. I love coming up with different looks. I also did this for my console table. So if you want to check out that video, I will have it linked down below. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and until next time. Bye.